The Acolyte Episode 7 choice at last provides a Jedi's perspective on what transpired on Brendok, emphasizing the poor decisions they made that ultimately resulted in catastrophe. May Anasia's desire for vengeance against the Jedi for some unidentified crime they perpetrated was the main narrative of the Acolyte Season 1, at least for the first part of the season. While Torbin committed himself due to overwhelming remorse, the episode made suggestions that there was more to the story than Jedi Master Soul was revealing. A second flashback episode that reveals every decision the Jedi took that they later see was a mistake serves as the resolution to this riddle. To be fair, a lot of their choices make sense when considering things from the Jedi's perspective and are entirely comprehensible at the time. Nevertheless, it's undeniable that the Acolyte Episode 7's ten poor decisions made by the Jedi had a number of immediate and long-term effects. In the Acolyte Episode 7, the Jedi made their first error in planning their mission on Brendok. They were searching for a Force Virgins, a potent concentration of Force energy that would explain how life might have returned on Brendok after the planet had been obliterated a century before in the Great Hyperspace Disaster. But the Jedi were more interested in collecting plant samples and using what looked like a metal detector than they were in uniting to meditate in order to sense the virgins and allow the Force to lead them. A wonderful illustration of why Yoda told Luke Skywalker that a Jedi does not have a thirst for adventure and excitement can be seen in the Acolyte Episode 7. Even Sol was not immune to Torben's lack of commitment to the mission, he was just tired of being away from home and didn't think it really mattered. While it was true that Sol appeared anxious to discover a lofty purpose and destiny on Brendok, Indara pointed out that he might have been mistaking Torbin's feelings for his own. Throughout the episode, Torbin and Sol made mistakes because of this mentality, which impairs their judgment. Although Sol's worries about Osha and May's safety were reasonable, his haste to save them and adopt Osha as his Padawan forced the group to act without sufficient knowledge. Both characters might have done a little more sensibly and cautiously if they hadn't wanted their goal to have more purpose. Characters in the Acolyte frequently make the error of failing to notify the Jedi High Council of Developments, most notably in Episode 7. Indara intended to speak with the Jedi Council before moving forward after finding the twins and seeing the witch's compound, but Sol persuaded her to get additional details first. Although initially this made sense, the Jedi continued to find justifications for delaying consulting the Jedi Council until after Osha and May had undergone testing. While May was the only survivor on Brendok, the previous episodes of the Acolyte all seemed to prove this, Episode 7 raises questions about how her family died. Together, the witches cast a spell that caused Master Kelnaka to battle Torbin and Sol, leaving the latter with a lifelong scar on his face. The episode doesn't make clear if Master Indara's use of the Force to drive the witches from Kalnaka's mind resulted in their instant death or only in their unconsciousness. Sol's snap judgment to save Osha rather than May also seem to have resulted in an apparent fatality. The main issue with this sequence is that it requires viewers to suspend disbelief, as a Jedi Master should be able to use the Force to carry two youngsters at once quite easily. To be fair, Sol had just battled witches and a Wookiee Jedi under a spell, so perhaps his anxiety of failing to prevent kids from dying had interfered with his powers. Torben's direct defiance of the Masters to go find Osha and May in the Acolyte Episode 7 was one of the most careless and unforgivable errors. There was no deadline to create a sense of urgency, unlike when Sol believed the twins were in danger, and Torben's intentions were solely self serving. More than anything, he yearned to return to Coruscant, so when he came upon what appeared to be an easy fix, he bolted without thinking through the ramifications. In the Acolyte Episode 7, killing Mother Anasia was unquestionably Sol's worst mistake, it was one of the most startling turns of events the show has yet to reveal. It was true that Mother Anasia wasn't the best person to defuse the situation by turning into a cloud of dark smoke, especially if May was impacted by her abilities. As far as Sol was concerned, May was falling apart right before his very eyes, thus it seemed sense that his natural instinct was to stop Mother Anasia.